Tomer. Good afternoon, Ty. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you. Uh, first order of business. Uh, Pat Pat Beverly is, is he available available to play? Yes. Uh, will he start? Yes. Uh, and and you've had probably a number of uh, you know lineups and injuries and, and all that this year. How much as a coach do you kind of like? How much during a game are you communicating with the staff on? Hey, you know, Pat's got to be limited. PG's got to be limited. You know, Surge is on this limit. Like, how how, how does that work throughout the game while you're coaching? Um, it works. You know, I think just having a good, you know, a great coaching staff around you and just, you know, you're trying to play with it. You know, the couple of days before, just trying to get the rotations down. But you know, the game always it dictates what happens. But when guys want minute restrictions, you definitely got to stick to it and make sure you're doing the best. You know, for the player and. Um, like I said, having three or four guys on minute restrictions is tough, but it's just going to be good to get everybody back, back on the floor and just kind of see what we got. Do you ever just look at it and just go, oh, more, you know, like react like that? Uh, no, nah, no excuses. Just, you know, do what you got to do, you know, adjust and just take it from there. Thanks, Ty. Thanks, go to Justin Russo. Hey, Teron, how you doing? Good, how are you? Doing well, thank you. Uh, Damian Lillard is so proficient on pull-ups, especially against deep drop. I know you're going to throw multiple coverages at him, but is this the type of game where blitzing him right away might be the most beneficial to the defense? Or is it like a let's see how the flow of the game is type of situation? I think we've got to come out right away and blitz him. You know, just put it on his mind. And We've always done that in the past. And, you know, you can't let a guy like that, you know, ease into the game. You know, he's, he's too great. Um, and so we want to just come out right away and put pressure on him as much as we can. But you, you can't never let him see, like, how he's going or how, how he's going to play because, you know, nine times out of ten, he's going to play great. Thank you. Thanks. We'll go to Mason. Hey, Coach. I was just wondering if you could give us a kind of a gauge of where the team is at mentally right now. Like, are they – does it seem like they're kind of on edge? Are they chilling right now? Where just How are they feeling at this point in the season? I think they feel pretty good. You know, I think, you know, keep having our practice and shoot arounds and just keep preparing, you know, keep getting better, keep working on our habits. And um, the guys have been really good. They've been engaged. They've been locked in. So we want to continue to keep doing that. Thank you. Cam, you can go ahead. Hey, good afternoon, Coach. How you doing? Good. Coach, I want to ask you, um, with just about 20 games to play in the season, do you look at seeding at all? Um, as it stands now, you got this will be your first round matchup. How do you feel about that? Or is there another team you'd like to see? <laughs> I like to make the playoffs first. How about that? <laughs> Let, let's get in first and then we'll worry about the rest of the business later. <laughs> I thought I'd try, I thought I'd try that one, Coach. Yeah, Thank I knew you, you did. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go to Miriam. Hey, Ty, good afternoon. Um, wanted, wanted to ask about Boogie and, and sort of um, adding him to the mix. What, what do you think he'll do for you guys? And, and what are we going to see today? Um, you know, he, he definitely has toughness. Um, definitely having a, a, a very skilled five man who can shoot the basketball, can pick and pop, can space the floor. Um, he's a great passer. I'm um, great with his back to the basket. So um, the biggest thing for him is just seeing where his condition is at right now. And um, but, you know, like I said, he hasn't played in a while. But just watching him play, you know, go over the plays the last couple of days, you know, dunking the basketball movement, he does look healthy, so that's good. Law, you can go ahead. Uh, good to see you, man. Uh, over the last three weeks, the defense has been playing at a top five level across the league. The offense hasn't quite played up to that level. And just wanted to know from you what you want to see improve, like whether that's just guys simply making shots or, you know, taking care, better care of the balls, uh, what are you looking for? I think, you know, Law, every night, you know, you always have a defensive foundation. You can always compete on the defensive end. And um, that's been our main focus. You know, when you have, you know, four or five, you know, rotational guys out, it's going to be hard to score the basketball a lot of times, you know. So um, we're not really worried about that. We know we've been a top two or three offense in the league all season when we're healthy. Um, so the biggest thing is just coming in every night, competing on the defensive end. And we know the offense is going to take care of itself. So, you know, you miss a lot of key guys, you know, it's, it's tough to score every single night. But the activity and the second and the multiple effort on the defensive end is what we're really looking for right now. Go to Joseph Rye Ward. Hey, Ty. We've all kind of circled around this um, in various questions over the last few games, but is this the toughest season that you've had to deal with from a coaching standpoint, just from the schedule and the injuries and everything like that? 
Um, I don't know. I don't look ahead. I it's been a tough season. You know, I think um, just the amount of games and the, and the um, time frame that they're playing the games, you know, it's tough. Like I said, we had a lot of injuries. I think we're the number one team in the league. I think injuries to, you know, top 80 year rotation. I think we're number one. So, um, you know, just being, you know, locked in every night, just competing, you know, having no excuses, next man up mentality. And I think our young guys are taking advantage of that. I think Luke Kennard, you know, Terrence Mann, um, Zoo, and those guys are really grown, you know, on a night to night basis. So giving those guys the experience, you know, going into the playoffs, I think is huge for us because, you know, trying to figure out the rotations now with everyone healthy, um, they have to be ready at all times. Farbad, you can go ahead. Hey, Coach, uh, two quick questions. Um, one, what do you think it's going to be like seeing Patrick Beverly and Rondo on the court together at the same time? <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's going to be fun to see. You know, it's going to be fun to see. And they've been playing five on five, you know, pick up basketball before they got, you know, before they did play the games. And they've been on teams and stuff. So um, they got a good bond and stuff. But it's, it's going to be a sight to see. <laughs> and the, the other question is, uh, Dame Lillard's, you know, he's just having a crazy season where it seems like any time it gets to clutch time, he somehow manages to get it in. Uh, just curious, like, what do you think about his season where he just seems like the worst player to go against in a tight game? It almost seems like he figures out a way to win every time. You know, um, I've always thought he's a great player, you know, I always admire what he's done on the floor. Um, but this year, you know, I just think this is definitely one of the years where he's an MVP candidate. And I mean, in the real conversation, you know, with Nurk is going down, you know, with McCullough going down, and to be able to hold that team together the way he has, I mean, it's been unbelievable. And, um, you know, he's a great player, but just to, you know, put a team on his back the way he has over the last 30 games uh, with those guys out, you know, it's just been great to see. And, um, you know, you're happy for a guy like that. He puts the work in, he plays every single night, um, always ready to compete, um, stands by his team and by his city. So you always want to see those guys do well, just not tonight. <laughs> Thanks, Coach. That's all the hands we got for you. Have a great game. Thank you. See everybody post-game.